Hey buddies, my name is Crap Tin Strap and welcome back to WillYouPressTheButton.com The game in which I answer life's most important questions, such as You are teleported to a land where people fight each other's Pokemon with their own Pokemon to win fame and money But you can only return to this universe if you want to every 10 years Hell fucking yeah I'd do that! I want to be a Pokemon master goddammit, who doesn't? Damn! Yeah, 65% of people agree with me. Hell yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's a good start one. I like that one. You can join your favorite TV series, game, etc. But you can only be a villain. <laughs> I think I'd make a good villain. I have a deep voice. And I have a very sinister face. And I have full control of my eyebrows. <laughs> Cause that's what being a villain's all about, you're gonna have a deep voice and control of your eyebrows. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, I'd do that. 75% <laughs> of people agreed. Yes. Cool. You can teleport anywhere you want, but your clothes won't come with you. But I could teleport into the nearest clothes dressing room and put clothes on and then walk out, so hell yeah, I'd fucking do that! I don't mind being naked in, in a changing room, that's fine! <laughs> the Kim Possible sees no downside! Ah, uh, they had the right idea, teleport into the washroom, yes! Okay, you have the ability to attract any person in the world, but you end up attracting many strange, ugly and dangerous people as well. That's just what I do already. <laughs> I, uh, um, I can charm my fair share of people, my lot of the ladies, but I pretty much end up with the, the bottom of the uh, rail kind of people. <laughs> oh dear, no, I don't want to do that. Whatever, I'm sick of my life as it is. Cool. Okay, <laughs> you are granted any wish you want and are given superpowers to fight monsters, but you will eventually turn into a monster yourself. It says eventually, that means towards the end, like towards the end of my life. So I'd have a full life of being a superhero. And then once I sensed myself going wrong, I could launch myself into space. Because in space, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I'd just float around and be a monster until I die and I wouldn't hurt anyone. So yeah, fuck it. I want to be a superhero for a bit. 58% agree. You are the CEO at Facebook, but you can't make a Facebook account. But I'd be fucking rich as shit, so I wouldn't need to worry about having a Facebook account. Hell yeah. I don't see the problem because Facebook is full of shit. <laughs> you become the most beautiful person in the world, but everyone forgets your name after one second of not seeing you. Isn't that the case already as well? I'm the most, I mean, look at me, I'm glorious looking. Ah, I could do shampoo adverts and everything. Yeah, L'Oreal. For kids. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, I'd do that. Why not? I could be a stunner to all people. Right. You get to become Spider-Man. Spider-Man. But your uncle dies. That's fine. I'm not very close to my uncle anyway, so that doesn't really affect me. Yep. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. <laughs> you can live in any fictional universe, but you'll be the opposite sex. Fuck yeah! So, I could be Catwoman. In Gotham, that'd be that'd be fucking sick. But any fictional universe, oh god, who can I be? I could, I could be fucking anyone. Oh, oh, the possibilities are endless. Oh, I'm gonna think about that later. I'm gonna enjoy the, the thoughts of that and may pleasure myself to it. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, okay, I like that question. That's good. You get a genie lamp, but the wishes you use. Uh, well, the wishes you use, the genie uses against you. What? Oh, I get it. Okay, so if I use, if I ask for like 10 pieces of bread, he would probably attack me with 10 pieces of bread. 
So, in that case, let's do this logically. I would wish for no more wishes whatsoever. He'd use that against me, and he'd give me infinite wishes. Because he wants to do the opposite of what I want. So then I'd have infinite wishes. And then I would say, I want you to hurt me after every wish that I make. Then he would never be able to hurt me. Um, and then I would say, I never want you to pay attention to any of the wishes I do and always use them against me. And then he would never use them against me again. Problem solved in three wishes. Sorted. Yes, I will do that. I wish for the downfall of humanity. Genie has humanity grow and prosper. <laughs> Very good. Fair enough. That's another way of doing it. I would use one of my other wishes to do that. You and your lifetime crush are suddenly naked together. But it's in public. Yep, I'd do that. No question. <laughs> right. You have the power to control everyone else's minds at all times, but you must run a thousand meters a day until the end of your life. A thousand meters isn't that far. I mean, I've walked to work further than that, like on a daily basis, so... A thousand meters is far. Yeah, that's only a mile, isn't it, really? I could run a mile. I may be slightly out of shape, but I could still fucking do that. And I could control... No, in fact, I could sleep and have people move my legs for me so they would do the run for me. Oh, yes. Yeah, hell yeah, I'll do this. <laughs> Infinite wealth, love, and health, but uncontrollable bowel and bladder. But if I had infinite wealth, love, and health, if I had infinite health, then surely my bowel and bladder wouldn't be a problem? That question is confused in itself. Um, but if I had infinite wealth, I'd probably just take out my uncontrollable bowel and bladder and replace them with new robotic, you know, shit so that I could, I could robotically poo and pee. How cool would that be? I'd just be like, I'd, I'd press my nipple button and a poo would come out. <laughs> no strain, no stress, just automatic nipple press poo. Yes, I would do that. <laughs> I could turn it into a poo cannon. And I'll just bend over at anyone that I don't like and just be like, press my nipple tassels and, and they would just like fire poos out in small pellets. Yes. I like that question. You have telekinetic powers, but everything you touch either dies or becomes radiated. Becomes radiated? Wait a minute. That means they become hot like a radiator. So, there's a chance they could either die or become rather warm. That'd be kind of handy in a way, because, you know, I'd, I could just go to, like, Alaska or Iceland or something, where everyone's fucking freezing cold, and be like, right, here's your choice. You can either die or become warm for the rest of your life. What's your choice? And if they wanted to die, then fair enough, I'd kill them. That's, that's their choice. If they wanted to become, uh, like, have the chance of becoming warm, yeah, I'd touch them. Whatever. That's cool. But, hang on a minute. If I had telekinetic powers, surely I wouldn't need to touch anything. Because I'd just be like, bum, 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 and everything would lift up for me and do all the shit. So I'd never, I, I would never really need to touch anything. And if I ever needed to have sex, then surely the condom would protect me from touching them? I don't know. It's difficult, but I'll do it anyway, whatever. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Ah, uh, that was good. 32% people pressed the button. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thanks very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and do what YouTubers do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out for now. Bye-bye!